What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Jeremy. Get busy, and I'm back with another video, man. Now, listen, bro. I just finished my playmaking badge grind, bro, and I'm killed, bro. That shit killed me, man. I'm so glad I got all my badges, bro. I'm ready to hit the park, but that's not... That's besides the point, bro. We're going to get right into the dribble tutorial. Now, a little disclaimer. I am not no dribble guy, bro. I'm practicing just like y'all. I'm just showing y'all what... The few things that I learned was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just been into my career, bro. I haven't really gotten a chance to really practice like that. I ain't hit the park yet. If you a big or you a guard or whatever, you try to hit the park, let me know in the comment section, bro. I'm ready to I'm ready to hit the park, bro. I just need a squad, you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, bro. Like this video is strictly I'm just showing y'all what I learned, you know what I'm saying? What's gonna be the meta dribble moves and stuff like that, bro? Cause a lot of things is different this year. They brought a couple of dribble moves back, like that right there. That was in 15, I believe, where it came out. You feel me? They brought the curry slide back. Like there's a lot of nice dribble moves, bro. They brought the explosive behind the back back. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of stuff that's new, a lot of stuff that's old. But I'm just here to bring everything to you that I've learned so far. If there's some other crazy dribble moves out there, let me know in the comment section. I'll probably drop a tutorial or something like that. But without further ado, let me get right into it, man. And I'm gonna show y'all my uh my dribble moves right now so this is what i'm rocking right now you feel me all these are like pretty much the top tier best dribble moves you can get you know what i'm saying moving spin basic one is definitely important you can also use pro 5 but basic one has just been working for me moving hesitation pro 5 is really good definitely recommend that and all these are pretty much good bro like you're gonna need this you're gonna just basically put all these on to get all the animation that i'm finna do you know what i'm saying so to start off man i'm gonna start off with something super simple you should already know how to do this, but to those who don't, we can start off with the momentum, bro. Now, the momentum is the easiest dribble move that you can do that's effective. You know what I mean? So it's just simply, like, they even changed it and made it easier this year. Literally, if the ball is in your right hand, move the right stick to the off ball hand, which is the left side, you feel me? And then immediately after that, you just run to that direction with the left stick. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. That's not hard at all. You feel me? Ball is in whatever hand. Just move the right stick to the opposite ball hand and literally run in that direction, bro. Like, I didn't even hold R2 right there. You don't got to hold R2 anymore. You feel me? You just really just... That's all it is, bro. Not really too much to it. And now we're going to get to the behind the back, the explosive behind the back from 2K20. They brought it back this year, bro. They took it out last year just to put it back. I don't understand. I mean, it's not, it's definitely not as good. I don't know if anybody noticed that. It's definitely not as good, but still OD effective. You know what I'm saying? And the way you do that, right stick, say the, uh, the ball is in my right hand, you're just going to want to move the right stick diagonally down left. You know what I'm saying? So bottom left and just run in that direction. You know what I'm saying? To make sure you're hitting it at an angle, though, you cannot go just to the right. You're going to get the momentum. You know what I'm saying? You want to actually make sure you're moving the right stick bottom left or bottom right depending on which hand the ball is in you know what i'm saying now something a little advanced for some people is the momentum behind the back i recommend doing this after you master momentum and master behind the back separately before you do this because this is like this i would consider this an actual start to you know learning combos and stuff like that so basically the momentum behind the back is basically you're just adding the two moves together so immediately right after the momentum you go ahead and do the behind the back you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna just show y'all what it looked like right here hopefully i'm not messing up because i'm recording the video right now that right there bro basically yeah just hit the momentum and the ball goes to the opposite hand that's when you want to do the behind the back back to the right side you know what i'm saying so like i said right stick the ball's in my left hand right now right stick to the right left stick immediately running that way and when the ball gets to this hand just simply right stick right stick bottom left and run back to the left you know what i'm saying so just like that bro now next another popular move which is the curry slide i don't know how popular it was on 2k20 but i definitely used it like od it was one of my favorite dribble moves i used it all the time and yeah bro the curry slide bro now the curry slide definitely changed this year it's definitely different you gotta hold it rather than flick it which i don't really like i mean it's been a lot of times where I, my guy just pulled up for a jump shot just like that and it was just i didn't like it but it is what it is definitely you just gotta adjust you just gotta make sure you're hitting it at the angle bro but let me let me go ahead and teach you how to do that so basically the ball is in my left hand just simply bottom right 
at the angle and he does it bro like ball is in my right hand now bottom left diagonally down left and that's just it right there bro you can spam it you know what i'm saying but make sure you're hitting it at the angle though because your guy will pull up bro he's gonna he's gonna pull up bro the next dribble move i got for y'all is crossover 16 bro from 2k 15 2k 16 man this move right here bro listen man they made this joint old easy if, they, if this move was that easy back in the day oh my god you would see everybody doing that move but basically uh i don't know i don't know what dribble move it's under I'm not gonna lie to you but just put my dribble moves on you're gonna be able to do it there's a lot of dribble moves that you can pick and they won't give you the same animations and stuff like that you gotta put my dribble moves on and you're gonna be able to do this bro so basically the ball is in my right hand right now all you gotta do is basically the curry slide but you're gonna be up so it's diagonally up to the left you know what i'm saying and that's all that is bro you're gonna go ahead and do that you can also spam this too kinda not really you can it's kind of slow though you feel me but make sure you're hitting it at the angle it's not really letting me spam it right now but i don't know why but yeah but definitely a little reset to your dribble board you know what i'm saying like it's just a nice little thing to hit if you're trying to set a combo up and stuff like that and i actually have a combo for you right now actually and i came up with this by myself i don't know if other people did it it's not super crazy exclusive not no steve's old type like it's not no none of that bro you feel me and it's basically crossover into the curry slot so basically the ball is in my left hand right now i'm gonna move the right stick diagonally up to the right and then i'm gonna move my right stick diagonally down to the left to come back you know what i'm saying and it looks like this bro you feel me it's nasty because like the curry slide it kind of like cancels out the animation like a little bit it makes it kind of fast so, like when you just do the crossover 16 it does like the whole animation he goes all the way over there but when you add the curry it kind of cancels it a little bit you know what i'm saying so it's faster you feel me and then you can do the behind and back off of that it's a whole bunch of combos with it bro you feel me so just once you master everything that's when you're going to be able to combo and make different type of moves you know connect together you know what i'm saying if that makes sense now the last dribble move i'm gonna tell y'all which is probably the hardest right now i'm not really sure but this is actually the spin move you know what i'm saying the crazy spin back move that you probably seen before you feel me not no regular ass like nah none of that bro i'm teach y'all how to do this right here and i'm not even a master at it but i just did it right there now that it's it's multiple animations you get that was the slow one you can also get this animation let me see if i can do it right now like that right there you feel me it's so many animations that it gives you you know what i'm saying that right there is the fastest one. Oh my goodness Bro, you, bro, you master this move right here, you're going to get kills in a park. I promise, bro. Oh, my goodness. That is insane. But let me go ahead and try to teach her how to do this because it's going to be hard to explain. Bear with me. I don't got a hand cam or nothing like that. Just try to hear what I'm saying. So, basically, you're going to want to be moving forward. To learn it, I recommend just simply doing a momentum and going forward. But you can just run forward, basically. That's all. You just got to be running forward. So, as you're running forward... You're gonna wanna take the right stick and move it clockwise. You can start from like six o'clock and go to 12, or you can, you can go to 12 o'clock and go to three. Like that's what I do. I start at the top of the right stick and I move it clockwise, you feel me, down. That's just what I do. That's what I'm comfortable with. And I'm a, I forgot to add something. If the ball is in your left hand, you wanna make sure you move the right stick counter clockwise so it's clockwise if the ball is in your right hand and counterclockwise if the ball is in your left hand i forgot to specify in the original commentary that's my fault but yeah counterclockwise if the ball is in your left hand let's get back to it keep doing it you know what i'm saying so basically yeah you move forward you move the right stick clockwise to do a spin move in a circular you know a circular motion clockwise and then you also gotta walk back with the left stick you know what I'm saying? So let me just let me try to slow that down for you. You're going forward. You have to be moving forward. Right stick clockwise. And then left stick back to get the walk back animation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Like, you should know how to do a regular spin move. You're just literally doing the regular spin move. You know what I'm saying? Clockwise with the right stick. But you also have to mix that in with walking back. Because if you're just moving forward, 
and you just spin, you're gonna get that animation and that's not getting you open at all. You have to combine the spin move with you walking back, you feel me? And you're gonna get different animations. I think, I don't know what it depends on. I think it's, I think you can move your right stick cl clockwise at different speeds and it give you different animations because I'm not, I'm not really sure. Yeah, sometimes it gives you the fast one, sometimes it gives you the slow one. Like I said, I am not an OD dribbler. You feel me? But this is just why I've been learning, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it definitely looked like it's gonna work in the park. So that was basically it, man. Sorry if I didn't give you no super crazy advanced dribble move. I'm not that guy. I know the basics, bro. I been grinding into my career, bro. That's what I've been doing. And as you can see, bro, I didn't max out all my badges. I know other niggas been in the park going crazy, but I had to make sure my guy was straight. A lot of people been saying it was hard to shoot and stuff like that. So I made sure I came and I got all my badges. I don't want to be out there bricking, bro. I like to shoot and I like to hit my shot. But now I'm ready to hit the park. If you trying to run and you good and you decent, you got IQ, hit me, bro. Don't be afraid to hit me in the comment section. I need a big, I need a guard. I'm trying to run threes and I'm trying to make this content for YouTube. You dig what I'm saying? I'm trying to run. If you nice, we can run, bro. You feel me? I just need a really good good bid to catch my boards you feel me i'm gonna need to get used to the game and stuff like that bro but it's been your boy germ get busy if i helped you in any way if i opened your eyes to anything make sure you tell me in the comment section make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe with notifications on because i'm trying to be consistent for y'all you feel me just help me out and i'm gonna help y'all out as simple as that bro but other than that it's been your boy germ get busy like share subscribe tell a friend comment do all that and i'm out bro gang